So first off, at number 5, we got a third place match at the NCAAs, Andonian versus Gomez, where Gomez almost scored off of two lat drops in the beginning of the first. However, no takedown was given, and Andonian would later get a takedown late in the first. In the second, Andonian chose bottom, got an escape, but then Gomez would take him down off of a re-attack. However, Andonian would get up and get a takedown of his own to make it 6-2 heading in the third. And then in the third, Gomez chose neutral and got two takedowns of his own, making it 6-8. to eight. However, Andonian would get a cradle and ice the match. At number 4, we got the 165 pound semifinal match between Griffith and Wick. This crazy match had Griffith scoring two takedowns early on, making it 4-2. However, in the second, Wick chose bottom, got an escape, and was able to get a takedown of his own, making it 5-4. Then in the third period though, Griffith looked like he was about to lose, but got a crazy last second takedown to win the match. At number 3, and the only match we have from a dual meet this season was unranked Joe Zargo beating 4th ranked Dylan Duncan, as Duncan was able to get a 2 point near fall in the 2nd period and a ride out, while then Zargo in the 3rd period chose neutral and put together 3 takedowns to take the lead by 1 point. However, Duncan would get an escape to force OT where Zargo would get one last takedown. With the riding time right now, and and Zargo gets around again. And he cuts across, he's in on a double drive through it, and there's two takedowns for Joe a shot. Right on the edge of the mat, he reaches, and I think he's got two. I think he's got two there. He's got the foot. We'll see, there's no, there's, that's two. Zargo's able to get the riding time knocked off, he does. And he's in on a shot. That's, that was, yep, is Duncan. He's got to keep position. And there it is, that's a two takedown on a fourth ranked At number two was the Big Ten Championships between Aaron Brooks and Miles Amin, where Brooks got the first takedown in the first before an Amin escape. After trading escapes in the second and third, Brooks would get taken down with very little time left on the clock, giving Amin a one point advantage. However, Brooks was able to get an escape and force overtime, but Amin was able to get the last takedown and win the match. No control. You know what? One guy's no thinking control. about getting you to neutral. The other guy's thinking about scoring. And we're two green. And Brooks. Morning, green. There's a I stall call on Brooks. His first. Oh, oh, went to the other main. side. He went to the other side. That's two. He's got it. Two a green. takedown for a mean. And the Wolverine goes up by one with ten seconds left. One. Clinging to the leg of the Nittany green. Lion. And he, he skips out. away. 4-4, four, four, and we are going to sudden victory. Would you want this? I mean, he's got some newfound confidence. Again, this is big in this team race. Here's Amin, a takedown. The Wolverine in sudden victory. Went back to the same shot he got. At number one was a crazy battle between national champions. As Starachi got taken down in the second period, giving Lewis the one point lead heading into the third. But in the third, Sirachi chose bottom, got an escape, and a takedown of his own to effectively force overtime. In the first overtime, no one was able to get a takedown, so they went into rideouts, where Sirachi was able to escape faster than Lewis and hold him down to get the riding point advantage. Then, due to that, Sirachi was able to win based off the criteria and became a national champion for the second year in a row. Covered in fingers here, coming up. Lewis has the stall. True. He's out. He's got a score. Riding time. That's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more accounts like this. Appreciate y'all. Peace.